important area for us, but it's a very sensitive area. And this uh, remote stretch of water has been linked to illegal fishing and human smuggling. Last year, a PNG Defense Force operation apprehended five illegal fishing vessels in these waters. John Kasu, NFA's managing director, says the challenge for them has been surveillance. They come in there, we don't have people, we don't have observers on board. Uh, on the boat, so we don't have any eyes there to see what's actually happening there. PNG is set to lose nearly one million kina worth of revenue from the closure of this fishing site. Those boats that have license, the license to fish have all asked to exceed the revenue versus the challenges that we have, I think it's more costly. The cost weighing largely is the potential loss of export license to the European Union following PNG's yellow card from the European Commission. However, Mr. Kasu is optimistic about PNG's progress in having that yellow card lifted following a recent audit. The debriefing was very positive on, on the audit that has taken place. So we are hoping uh, for a positive response from, uh, from Brussels. As for commercial fishing in the dogleg waters, this will be decided following a review in the coming months. Sarah Aupong, National MTV News.